Now to breaking developments this evening in the San Bernardino terror case. Federal agents today ser serving a search warrant at the home of Syed Farouk's brother looking for evidence. But they still cannot get into Syed Farouk's iPhone. The FBI standoff with Apple continues, the company refusing to help hack into the gunman's iPhone. And tonight, other tech giants are rushing to Apple's defense. And so we asked ABC's Pierre Thomas a simple question. What do the experts think? How easy would it be for Apple to break into that phone? Today, the FBI searching the home of Syed Farouk's brother, but no closer to getting inside his iPhone. Industry giants closing ranks behind Apple today, even as authorities claim they need to be able to hack into phones to crack cases beyond terrorism. As in the case of two officers recently shot in New York, police locked out of potential evidence in a suspect's phone. This is the phone that was used by one of his uh, associates in that case. Despite having a court order, we cannot access this iPhone 5. The issue of breaking into encrypted phones ignited by the FBI's legal challenge to Apple over the Farouk case. Experts telling ABC News today it would not be that hard to design a gateway or back door. From my perspective, it's relatively easy to create the back door, but just because something's easy to do doesn't mean you should do it. Some analysts say it opens a Pandora's box for tens of millions of smartphone users. You would have created what amounts to a smart a software bomb that if it falls into the wrong hands, could then be turned around and used to unlock every single iPhone and, and iPad in existence. David, law enforcement officials are frustrated with Apple's attitude, so expect the Justice Department to take additional steps in court to force Apple to open that phone immediately. All right, Pierre Thomas, you'll stay on the case, Pierre. Thank you.